Donut time. Great tasty. <laughs> you might be surprised to learn that many donut shops in California are owned by Cambodian families. This is thanks to a refugee who built up an empire only to lose it all. He became known as the Donut King. They call me Donut King. Ted Noy was a high school student in Phnom Penh when he first set eyes on Sugampini Hoyon, the daughter of a high-ranking government official. Despite their different social classes, Ted and Sagantini fell in love and got married. Soon after, Cambodia was overrun by the Khmer Rouge in 1975. Fearing for their lives, the couple fled to Los Angeles with only a few dollars to their name. Ted began working as a dishwasher at a local donut shop. He quickly rose up the ranks, eventually buying out his boss in 1976. Noi saw opportunity in donuts. They were inexpensive to make and easy to sell. In 1978, Ted heard of an opportunity to buy a donut shop at a discounted price in what was then known as Little Saigon, located in Westminster, California. He pulled together his savings, plus whatever money he could borrow from family and friends, and invested it into purchasing the shop, which he named Chateau Donuts. He was committed to hard work and long hours. He worked seven days a week without fail for several years while he opened up more shops across California, then expanded into Arizona, Texas, and Nevada, building his donut empire. Within three years, Ted had become a millionaire as his empire grew to more than 70 stores in just five states. The king expanded his empire quickly by hiring dozens of Cambodian refugees to come to Los Angeles to work for him. He provided them with training and a living wage, allowing them to learn the ropes of the business. This allowed Ted's business to grow quickly as people began recognizing his donuts as superior in quality. As an LA native, the Donut King director Alice Gu was fascinated by his story. The Donut King, the rags to riches story, the refugee turned millionaire and achieved the American dream. He became a millionaire within three years of arriving. However, Noi's story soon turned sour. In 2005, Noi filed for bankruptcy and lost his donut shops. I lost everything. Believe me, everything. Ted sadly confesses that his gambling addiction led him to Vegas over and over, depleting the funds he'd saved from years of running successful donut shops. In order to pay back what he owed, Ted gradually sold each shop until there was none left. He had a pretty spectacular fall, and he lost everything that was more important than money. You know, the respect of his community, the respect and the love of his family, and the love of his life. And I think that you, hopefully, you know, you learn some lessons after, you know, suffering those kinds of setbacks. After Ted lost everything, he left the United States and returned back to Cambodia. The families that he sponsored continued running their businesses. The Donut King celebrates the legacy of Ted Noy by showcasing his perseverance and drive for success. It is a reminder that anyone can achieve their dreams no matter where they come from or what obstacles life throws at them. No dream is too big or too small if you believe in yourself and work hard. The legacy of the Donut King continues to live on through the many Cambodian families who now own donut shops throughout California a testament to the story of one man's determined pursuit of the American dream. Visit DonutKingMovie.com to watch the full documentary.